Want to see what it looks like before I get a pump versus after? I'm going to show you how to transform your body today. All right, guys, I had a question. Chris, like, you always talk about a pump. How do I know if I have one? So what I thought I would do is literally before my training session, all I've done is put on my Arctic Bomb and hit my granular supplements in terms of Vasoblast and GX and then come to the gym and we're taking this video. So this is me 100%, no pump, no push-ups, no band pull-aparts, no warm-ups, no, not even any treadmill warm-up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll through some poses here and then we're gonna do the exact same thing at the end and I'm gonna talk through the differences and we'll put them up side by side so you can see. But first let's roll through all these pre-pump poses so you can see what my body looks like before I push all that blood into my chest and shoulders. And there you have it guys, me with a pump now. <laughs> so you can see just standing here relaxed, like look at my fullness in my chest from the side. Like that's a huge pump, just like my shoulders standing relaxed. Like here, I'll put my hand down. Like, that's not flexing. <laughs> this is what it should look like. Look at my shoulder from the side, just hanging out. This is what I say when you get a pump, it should look like. Now, I know what you're gonna say, but Chris, I don't have that much muscle. And, and if you don't, it's not that big a deal. But you should still be getting a substantial pump, meaning looking noticeably bigger. And we do this through a bunch of different factors, right? So the first thing it starts with, to me at least, is all your previous day's meals and water. So if you eat like garbage, if you don't eat, if you fast the day before, it's gonna be get really hard to get a pump like I have here. On the flip side of that, everything you have before you come to the gym. So for me today, I had two full meals and I've had roughly a gallon and a half of water. That's why I can get this big of a pump. That coupled with I heavily salt all my meals is why you can see the tissue just swell. Now, when you pair the meals, the salt, the water, with supplements, and I use granite supplements, you use Vasoblast, one full scoop, half a scoop of GX, and then you drink recovery while you train. So I'm shuttling nutrients, meaning carbs, into my muscle to keep it full while I do this whole chest shoulder workout that took us somewhere roughly an hour and 15 minutes. And then what I wanna think about is my exercises I'm actually choosing. So for me at this point in my life, I choose all exercises that I love, feel, and connect to. And when I take those to the end, meaning go to failure, drop sets, partials, supersets, it pushes the blood in there and makes my muscles swell. And I know the progressive overload crowd that says pumps don't matter, but I'm telling you, pumps do matter. You're a bodybuilder. You can still chase progressive overload, but you have to get a pump, guys. Like it has to be a pumped muscle. Or what are you working? If my chest doesn't feel pumped after a dumbbell press, I'm not using my chest. I'm using my delts and my triceps. I'd be willing to bet you. So the muscle you train needs to fill with blood, and I don't care what it is. It has to get a pump. So you wanted to see what it looked like me without a pump with versus with a pump. Here you have it, full disclosure, before and after. If you like this video, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, stay juicy. Chris TV.